I wanted to start with a story back in uh, back in 2020. I'm sure I've said this on this podcast before, but you know we've uh, to basically pay for the studio that we're recording in right now, to pay for the room, the equipment, uh, the camera, this microphone, the light, the la- everything, basically everything you see was not only paid for with government stimulus checks that they were just handing out a few years ago, but on top of that, uh, I went through a very, 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 um, very deep, very detailed, very in-depth Gary V flip life, go to garage sales, go to Goodwill, buy something for a dollar, sell it for 20 on eBay. And so that pretty much... Uh, took us, you know, up and down, um, you know, the highway, going to stores, thrift stores, yard sales, cleaning out the closet. Every week I was going to the post offices with towers of packages, towers of packages going here, going there, this state, that state, this country over here, over there, down the street, down the road, Facebook marketplace, you name it. I was shipping out packages of just like old Game Boys, old clothing, old toys. We went to Goodwill. We found uh, we found a Mr. Mike Toy Story toy from like the 1990s. Bought that for $3. Sold it on eBay for $400 two days later. Like it wasn't a joke. So like when it comes to the Facebook marketplace, eBay, online retail, flip life, like... I've tasted it. I know how it's done. I know the ins and outs. I kind of sort of still do it sometimes. I haven't bought or flipped anything in a while, but like I'll look, I'll check the clearance racks. I'll drive by slowly at a yard sale. You know, I'll see what's out there. But most of the time, uh, you know, we don't, I don't have the time to do it anymore. Listen, it was COVID, okay? Everything was shut down. I had time to go out and get items and take nice pictures of them in the light box I had. I had a whole light box with a light and a camera set up on a tripod, and I put everything in there. All of my photos, all my listings on eBay look the same, professional. I literally Photoshopped every photo. Oh, I, yeah, every Photoshop, every listing on eBay that I sold over COVID was Photoshopped. I made it, I corrected the colors, I made it look bright and the contrast, like this wasn't just an iPhone like snap operation. This was a very, very, very high level, you guys know me, we've been rocking the pro equipment since like episode one of this podcast. I don't do anything half-assed, so if I'm putting something on eBay, it's not just an iPhone photo, it's an iPhone photo with a light box and a white backdrop and a Photoshop job where we boost the brightness and we take the contrast up and we mess with the levels and we crop it out of the white box and then we add more white around it and we Photoshop the crap out of it because guess what? That's how I paid $0 for my son's $800 car seat because I was selling stuff on eBay. That's how I paid $0 for the down payment of this house because I was flipping and selling shit on eBay. So listen, if you're gonna do it, do it big. And now that chat GPT and AI is a thing, poof. If I had, if I had AI, if I had chat GPT when I was selling stuff on eBay, write me a viral product description for Pokemon Fire Red cartridge for the Game Boy Advance, paste in the exact game description from Wikipedia and say, here's everything you need to know about it. Boop. I'd have items sold instantly. I mean, I was selling stuff almost pretty instantly within a day or two, but I guarantee you me flooding the fucking eBay search results with my SEO driven chat GPT AI generated results. Like, come on, bro. It'd be game over. I might have to get back into it now.